Greetings. Oh, come back to an episode of we are well without a potion this time but it doesn't matter because we still have a few left and uh, we are going into um actually we have to go a little bit further this was the wrong bridge oh boy that was not what i wanted to do uh that area here uh, only has like very very minimal there we go at distance we can just traverse it fairly quickly that was a real accident uh, the idea was to go to the next bridge and uh, pause it then and not to stop right there anyway yeah now we're at the right bridge perfect 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 it's time for us to uh, explore this thingy right here it's called the Yaka Basin and there is a lot of stuff around and a dude on a floating horse perfect well actually no the dude was floating the horse was not floating why can't you yeah wait a minute why has no game until now introduced something like a seahorse as a pet <laughs> that would be sweet Anyway, we got ourselves a bit of dexterity. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And it's this one right here in the blood-soaked ingress. But wait, there is definitely more. We just have to waltz around a little way. Ah, and get the loot while we're at it. More, more. I really need something like vampirism also. That would be sweet. Something that makes it possible for me to regenerate. But well, right now I do regenerate by just standing next to them, which is amazing. Sadly, it is maxed out by... Uh, actually, wait a minute. How many enemies can I stay next to? Da -da 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 -da. Let's say this is... Uh, definitely not six. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not six enemies. It's like five. 2 times 5 makes 10. Uh, the number is actually very weird because it says 112. Um, but 112 has nothing to do with uh, with 22 for some reason. That is really weird. Stop attacking me. Not cool. Right, did we... Not yet. Let's just go a little bit further so we get ourselves the bridge. Uh, nothing is happening yet. There we go. Area has been discovered. Perfect. With another dungeon. Okay, that one is full of dungeons and quests. That is amazing. You know what kind of area I'm going to do after the Yaksha, obviously. Then we might be done with the whole desert. Well, no. There's still the PvP thing you're missing. There's always more. Mm. Make it go kaput, 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 kaput. Whoa. Okay, that one is actually very difficult to see. Um, because like everything in here is blood soaked, and you would kind of expect this to just be a um, blood drop. This one is almost impossible to see. Okay, willpower, pretty neat. Also blood soaked ingress, and it's the one down here. So we got one here, and one there. Yaka base it, of course. And uh, onwards. Onwards, 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 onwards. Yeah, still more. La la la. <laughs> eh. So, let's just fall uh, right through here. Whoop. I have to charge myself up a little bit. Yeah. Ah, elixir of manslaying. Oh, this is this sounds like fun. By the way, elixir of shadow resistance, elixir of position, uh, acrobatic elixir. What is it? Uh, damage against cannibals. Uh, yeah, that's the one. I got eight of those. That's actually pretty interesting. Yes, beast slaying, man slaying. The experience is always the same, which is a bit meh. But, uh... That may also be a very nice way to increase your damage, if you want to. Oh yes, greed. Oh, greed. Absolutely love greed. Hmm. 
But we have to be quick about that. Uh, there's another chest around here. And then a little statue right on the eastern side over there. Now, the only thing that uh, we need to do now is... Uh, actually, what is down here? That looks suspicious, but... Let's just get back up here. Uh, I... Wow. By sheer accident, I just placed the marker somewhere and I accidentally actually hit something. That's weird. Weird, 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 weird. But, uh, uh... Let's just let this marker be a marker. Because we want to go somewhere else. And not even... I couldn't even manage to use this uh, green shrine properly, which is not nice. So, what we got here? Some goats, of course. And, oh, what a nice view of the bridge. Cursive and whatnot. Yeah, down there. Hmm. The town seems like you can go through it or whatnot. But no. How do you even jump that far? Hmm. Alrighty. And we got ourselves whatever this is. Kembish. Hmm. Tied who to a tree? What? All right. I'm in my horse. Ah, she's the only thing I have left. Oh, hard. My market stall. My wares. All of it lost in Guran. Okay. Are we are supposed to help you? No. What happened here? Tyrant brawl and his damned cannibals. They stormed the city like wild animals. Gods never stood a chance. Hmm. So much so to that. And oh. Maybe this is the city that they were talking about. But jeez, that one is full of blood. Hey, wait, point. Hmm. All right. Pretty interesting. So the Yaka Basin has pretty much nothing for you. Weird. I thought you can get some quests in here. Hmm. The thing is, I'm just going after markers, right? Um, but it looks as if. This is a follow-up mission of some kind, which means we... Basic skills gain attack speed. Yeah. Let's go into the buried halls. So at least we can do something in here. Perfect, 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 perfect. And onwards. Can I? Yeah. Those stones are working properly. Galavan. Oh yeah, Galavan. The bush. You do deal very little damage somehow. Strange. Okay. Buried holes. Let's get in there. So we can at least do something in here. Hmm. Weird, 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 weird. Hmm. That's what I accidentally leave this one. Hey, <laughs> uh, lightning! Do do do. What are we supposed to do? Free prisoners. Yes. And they did. Can't even give them a potion. I just want to help them out, man. Let me help you. Help me. No, get away, right? Oh, wait. No, don't push me around. I need to free the prisoner. There you go. Come on, you don't even need all of those prisoners. What are you even gonna use them for? There you go. Onwards. Okay, do we go upwards or to the right? There might be a circular area here. Let's hope so. Yes.
Oh, well, maybe it's not. Let's just go back real quick. Seems to be someone here, right? No. It's just to do the stuff in hand. I am looking for prisoners. Where could these people be? I just want to save them. Me, 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 me. Really not. Oh, come on. Just let me do that. There you go. So, next stop. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, artillery shrine. Come on. Five waves. Well, that could be a wee bit more tricky now. It's 24,000. Damage. Okay, two out of five, but... And the last wave with hopefully some decent enemies. There you go. Oh, totem. Nice. So, now, time to artillerate them. Artillerate. Need to... Say three more of them, okay. Away. Another. Okay, something is weird. I mean, I do gain, like, legendary items often, right? But two totems is a wee bit much. So, but, uh, what are they actually all about? Do, 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 do. Let's look at them. Uh, casting Storm. Deal increased damage for each second you stand still. Mm. Can be useful, but this one right here is pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm. It's just that the companion one is much, 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 much cooler. How are you supposed to compete with that? Ah! Having companions just makes the damage so much better. Whoa. All right, now what is this? Ooh, yes, conduit. Problem is, conduit uh, is. I don't know if this is a core skill or not. What does it say? Search, nah. It says something. It does a lot of damage, probably a crit or whatnot, but... I don't know if it's uh, supposed to be a core skill or how it actually gets its damage. Yes, you are welcome. Now, time to do the Spectral Awakening. And maybe get rid of this one and this one. There. 
And that one right there. I, 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 I. Just move on forwards. Do this one backwards and then do the tornado. Wait a minute, where's the... Ah! That was a closed up door somewhere. Tornado is not fast enough. Any second now. Any second now. So, does this look like a boss room? Yes. Another resurrected Malice. Again. Ooh. We got ourselves rapid aspect. Uh, wait, there's not the one. Uh, there's another one. This thingy right here. Cool. No, wait a minute. This is not the one. Where's the rapid thingy? Uh, eh. Something in here. Skill steal up to uh, primary resource. We got this one. Core skill steal more for fortify. There we go. And the attack speed, which also works like a multiplier. Hmm. But the thing is, it has 15% increase in attack speed, but how could you think of that? Uh, well, actually, yes, it's like a multi- it, Attack speed works like a multiplier, but this multiplier gets added 50%, so... Uh, kind of the same. So... But this is, uh... The minimum, of course. Would be nice if this stuff at least shows, like, how much you can get from it. On top of that, too, that would be sweet. Uh, and thorns. Like, I actually wanted the needle flare aspect. But the thing is, uh, uh, it's not working out all the time. Hmm. Increase damage for each second you stand still. But we don't want to stand still. We want to move, right? Basic skills gain. Attack speed. Yeah. Basic skills. Yeah. Oh, and it also says basic skills, right? So, this is only something uh, that's worth it for um, basic builds. Builds that maybe flip-flop between uh, two different basic attacks. For example, like Wind Shear and uh, the Earth Pillar, or what is it called? It's actually pretty cool. Uh, you can hammer through this extremely quickly. Alrighty, and this area is pretty much done for... And we are definitely not going into those dungeons yet. Um, let's go into Jirandai. Actually, no, I have to do some inventory management in a different uh, village. So, Jirandai. No, wait a minute. Jirandai is like the village of this. What's it called? Untamed Scars. Un... Scarps. There we go. So, there are a lot, a lot of quests around here. And I can pretty much finish. Maybe I should do the ones down here. Uh, or the ones up here. Who knows. But this is something that you can access fairly quickly, though. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's that. Okay. I don't seem to have that many uh, gems on me, but... Not sure what to do with that one, though. I mean, I would really like to take that one off of it, just in case. Yeah, let's do that. The usual. And then we can talk to the people in that village. And once we're done with that, we're going to do the first mission down there. So, oh, wait a minute. I actually didn't check what the items could have been. Huh. Gloves. Uh, yeah, the gloves are already higher than necessary. No. 
what am I gonna do with this? Really have to take it off of it. I'm just collecting aspects. Like, what if... Yeah. Actually, you may not even need, need to get less? the aspects, right? Um, especially not if they're, like, the lowest ones. Hmm. And, of course, it's another aggressive one. And another aggressive one. Hmm. Righty. Uh, can we enchant... No, wait. Enchantment just reset stuff and it costs arm and leg yeah don't do enchantment with legendary gear if you have the you the, the chance to enchant like a uh, not to enchant to imprint an item then do the enchantment uh, beforehand that makes the cost go down dramatically it's amazing alrighty what about gems, though? Why can't I? This jeweler? There. Would you like something appraised? Uh, no, there. Good this dude has you. nothing for me. The weapon is fairly strong right now. Don't know if there might be others. Damage increase, willpower is good, all stats is good. Like, everything on this weapon is good. Hmm. With, uh, maybe the overpower ban damage bonus. That might be a bit weird, but, hmm. Okay. Now then, back to Jiran. Die, 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 die. Hmm. What about the peoples? The peoples. Oh yeah. Hmm. Timur and Zai. See this scar? A biter bit me, so I bit him back. <laughs> right. I pay you to fight. Not to fall back and hide with the beggars! You said this job would be easy. Killing cannibals is not easy! Hmm. Well, he does have a point. Killing cannibals definitely is not easy. Especially if you end up in the cooking pot. So, what else we got here? Like, you can just jump across. Wait, wait. We can just jump across. Is the other side part of that settlement or not? No, this is part of the wilderness, it seems. I'm sorry, Sorka, but I'm not sending anyone again. Be at peace with his body recovered. Peace? I wonder if you would feel the same if this were your child. Oh. Ancestors keep you. Hmm. Would it be so bad if they found out? I'm the son of a merchant. Promised to wed some useful daughter of the steppes. <laughs> My poor, rich northern boy. Bastard eaters. Carved my brother like a side of pork. Light a candle for him and go to bed. Hmm. What can you tell me of Jirondai? It's the safest town this side of the steppes. Good bones. Built on the shoulders of the old empire. You and your coin are most welcome here. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. But of the cannibals? Oh, the brutes make a little noise, but our mercenaries are the best in the business. And they'll have it sorted out very soon. Hmm. No. If you have a rash, treat it yourself. I don't want to see another one. Hmm. Ugh, not in this e disgusting rashes all over. And that probably ends up getting us into the wilderness. You don't care about wilderness, but I do want to explore at least the rest of Girondai. Why can't I see the thing properly? Like there's always this uh, gradient here. That makes the map a bit difficult to look at. So the arena. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, and another thingy. Deadly threat spotted nearby. Legends speak of a barbarian warrior whose bloodthirst was so furious. He terrified even the cannibal's tribe. Zorazor. Hmm. Spirit still haunts desolation's reach. Search for a worthy challenge. Uh, I did read this one. I think, yeah. I just waltzed through here. There was like a uh, another mission that brought me here, I think. 
So, Zara. Stop your drooling! I'm spicing meat for storage, not for sale. Mm hmm. And where are you going to store it, lady? Where's your. Where's your store for. Oh. That's what store is. Okay, Yinzuk tree. What's this? Preserved long ago by the builders of Jirandai. The tree stands as the center of the Jinzuk shrine. The prayer candles burn day and night, lit by travelers and merchants alike. What if we were to. Ah! Blow them out. Then there's also Gizur. Blessed Akarat, spirits of the sands, grant my wagon safe passage. Mm hmm. And uh, why should those spirits care about your wagon that much? Huh? I like those statues, they're pretty sweet. Hmm. Provisions for the journey? Don't die hungry, eh? Thank you, thank you, but at least there is no hunger mechanic in this game. Thankfully. So, what about this one? Jegu. They brought Taiji down from the gate. You want to see him? Ah, I've seen enough corpses on this trip. Kajistan had better be worth it. Alright. Nothing on the staircase. Huh. Good. So, actually, there are... Except for the one with the enchantment, they do have pretty much everyone around. You can buy jewelry. Oh, and gem upgrade, dude. Yeah. Uh, you got your smith, you got your weapon and armor vendors, and even curiosity vendors. That's actually pretty neat. And of course, they don't have the stash. Uh, that's the thing that I kind of don't like that much uh, about all of that. The, the stash. That thing is just only in the big cities and it's always somewhere further away from all of your crafting needs so you always have to go back <laughs> uh, very very well placed I say okay let's end this episode and continue with quests like this one uh, and this one 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 in the next few episodes and of course the remaining oh look at that the remaining dungeons restore one of your primary resource when you're crowd control an enemy now oh that oh that would be so nice on the ring um and core skills deal additional da, 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 damage for your companion okay i got this one already when you crowd control an enemy i always do that that's just a problem if i crowd control them then I, I need more rings to make them more useful everything in here is damage oriented That's just not going to work. Like, you do need damage on your equipment. If not, then you're just... Yeah. You're wasting precious potential. The other way would be that... To think about this differently, right? Um, To think of this as, like, a potential second cast. It kind of... Um, let's say you were to crowd control the enemy... Or, like, multiple enemies at once, right? Uh, so it kind of counts as using two of those uh, resource spells. It's just one for each uh, CC'd enemy, but meh, maybe 1.5 or whatever. So that means it's a roughly 50%. Um, yeah, 50% uh, increase of resource gain. Therefore, uh, you can use the tornado 50% more. Or, yeah. Uh, fifty percent more, or fifty percent quicker, or what, however you will call it. Therefore, your damage over time goes up. It's not the number that goes up, uh, but it's this one that goes up. Now, the big question is, in what way uh, does that one increase your damage compared to just flat out higher numbers? Right. Hmm. That is just the question. Anyway, we're going to end this episode now. Huh? Until next time, then like and subscribe as usual, and uh, Oak be with you. Ta-ta.